When it comes to adolescence and sex, we teach kids that a prerequisite for appropriate sexual activity is consent. Consent needs to be explicit, and it needs to be given repeatedly as a sexual encounter becomes more intimate. While that concept might seem simple, many teenagers find it awkward and difficult to ask for, grant or withhold consent. So let's cover four discussion topics you can use to talk to them about. Number one is pressure. Paying attention to how others are feeling is an essential part of any relationship. But when it comes to romantic or sexual interactions, it can mean the difference between a safe, positive encounter and one that ends up causing harm. Be clear about what confidence really looks like. Confident people listen and respect the needs of their partner. Continuing to push when someone says stop isn't cool or powerful. It's creepy and dangerous. If someone is applying pressure, don't be quiet or stay put. It's okay to say, you know, you're really making me feel uncomfortable. I don't want to do this. Number two, drugs and alcohol. Because a lot of bad sexual encounters happen when one or both people are drunk, it's also important for kids to know that someone who is intoxicated, asleep, or otherwise impaired cannot give consent, no matter what. Let them know that if they see someone who's drunk being pushed to have sex or do something else that they don't want to do, they should not be a bystander. Encourage them to do what they can to get the other person out of the situation. Number three is verbal consent. Even when situations seem cut and dry, it's important for kids to check in with their partners and themselves throughout. Help kids avoid potentially dangerous situations by working out some questions they can use to check in with their partner. For example, are you enjoying yourself? Are we moving too fast? Are you still okay with this? Are you comfortable with me touching you here? We also want kids to remember that only a resounding yes equals consent. Anything less committal or less clear is a sign that it's time to stop and check in before you continue. Lastly, Talk to them about checking in with themselves. Kids should be asking themselves the same questions during any kind of sexual or romantic encounter. We want them to be saying, is this something I actually want to do? Do I feel safe and respected? Am I feeling any kind of pressure to do something I'm not ready for? From this other person or from my friends? Helping kids develop a mental checklist of questions to fall back on will help them navigate difficult situations. But above all, Parents should make sure kids understand that it's always okay to say stop at any time for any reason, even if they aren't sure what that reason is right away. Please like and subscribe our videos. For more information on talking to your kids about sex and consent, visit childman.org.